What's up, gang? Case here with our in-gym and at-home Metcon for Thursday, December 24th. Uh, no Friday workout this week because of Christmas. We'll be back on Saturday. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 of double unders and sit-ups. And in between each of those rounds, excuse me, after each of those rounds today, you'll complete six ground to overhead if you're using a barbell, 10 ground to overhead if you're using a dumbbell. Let's talk about those double unders first. Pick the version of jump rope that's going to keep you moving most consistently today. This is a benchmark. Uh, it's two benchmark workouts combined, actually. So uh, we want your intensity getting high. We don't want you having to take a ton of breaks on those double unders. Regardless if it's double unders or singles, keep those elbows close to your side, hands slightly in front of your hips. Try to turn that palm over every time. That way we're spinning through our wrists and not through our shoulders. If you're going singles today, do two singles for every double unders. This is one of those workouts where you're gonna get fatigued, you're gonna lose your rhythm, so if you break that rope, no big deal. Step through, take a breath, get right back into it. Don't get frustrated on that jump rope today. After your first 50 jump rope, you'll go into 50 sit-ups. On those sit-ups, those can be straight leg, bent knee, or butterfly today, or you can use a combination of those. Whichever version you pick, touch the ground behind you, throw your elbows for your hips, that way your ribs pull down to your belly button, you get more ab engagement that way, and then at the top, make sure your shoulder gets clearly in front of the line of the hip, so pick a consistent part out here on the ground where you're reaching forward and touching, that way you're getting that good full range every time. Um, a lot of folks can go unbroken on those sit-ups, especially if they adopt that breathe in on the way back, out on the way up breathing pattern. But if you get to that point where you feel like, one, you're losing technique, maybe you're lifting your hips up or you're having to lift your feet up to get to the top, take three to five breaths, get back into it, um, know your strengths and weaknesses when it comes to those sit-ups today. After your 50 sit-ups, you'll come over and you'll grab either the dumbbell or the barbell for ground to overhead. If you're going dumbbell today, dumbbell starts between the feet. We're going to clean up to the shoulder, and then I would recommend trying to go right from this power clean catch into a push press if we're using dumbbell. From there, we can switch on the way back down, catch power drive straight out to that full extension, or you're welcome to set it down on the ground and switch there. Idea here is to keep that dumbbell close, make sure you're getting your back flat in the bottom, using that leg power to jump it up to the shoulder, and then using that leg power again to throw it overhead. So if you're going dumbbell, you'll go 10, alternating ground to overhead on those. And then if you're going barbell, six ground to overhead, prescribed weight for men, 135, 95 for women. This is a weight that you should be able to do six unbroken reps if you had to. You don't have to do that in the workout. I went singles all the way through until my last round, and then I went for a bigger unbroken set there. That said, pick a weight that's going to be moderately heavy for you. Big tip on this today is to keep that barbell close to you. As we get fatigued, the barbell starts to swing out more. Every inch that bar gets away from our center of gravity, results in us exhausting more energy. Um, on these, same as with that dumbbell, don't have to stand all the way up on that power clean. You can catch, and you can go straight from that clean catch into a push press or a push jerk. If you're doing that barbell, I would recommend power clean push jerk for those reps today. You shouldn't be going so heavy that you have to split jerk and recover on those. So putting a few together once again, if you're going singles, it's gonna look like this. Catch, finish, get down, find that good setup, catch, get all the way tall. Before you bring that barbell down. 
If you're doing tap and go, go back to that get close or keep the bar close cue that I talked about, especially on the way down with tap and go. It's even more important to keep that bar close. I let it ride against my hips and my thighs on the way to the ground. It's a lot harder to control that bar as it starts to get away from you. After your ground to overhead, you've got 40 double unders, 40 sit-ups, another set of ground to overhead, 30, 30, 20, 20, 10, 10, finishing the workout with ground to overhead today. Looking at roughly a 12 to 16 minute stimulus on this one, we're gonna cap it at 18 minutes today. Good luck on today's workout. Have a happy holiday, and we'll see you back on Saturday.